All right, let's keep this super straightforward, to the point, as fast as possible. I'm already lagging. Hey, how's it going? Um, this one's gonna be for my OctaTrack users. And that might be in a similar situation to me coming from an NPC and looking at the slicing on here to be a bit annoying. I find it really frustrating when I want to manually slice and I think I figured out a workaround. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and honestly, this might, be, this might be good for someone who's just using the OctaTrack and it's like, man, this slicing's really funky. So for example, I have this sample right here, right? Dun, dun, dun. So if I wanted to add slices right now, check out how annoying this is. I gotta zoom in, use the level, cool, make sure I'm, nah, I can go a little more. Oh, wrong button. Zoom in a little this way. Cool, let's uh, add a slice here. And then uh, you kind of get it, right? So let's say we want those first two notes. Okay, cool. Sweet, so now when I wanna add the second slice, this, I want the second slice to start point to be the end point of the previous slice. So what I need to do is zoom like all the way in, barely move the level knob, add slice here, then zoom out and grab this note. Right, and then zoom in. Cool, zoom in again, move this just a little bit. And what's really annoying is if I wanted to line it right up, as soon as I go onto it, I can't actually add a slice point because it's highlighted the previous clip. So you kind of always miss a little bit. I mean, I'm complaining basically about nothing, but check this, and then add a slice. This gets annoying. You have to do this a ton of times. And forgive me for talking so fast. I'm really trying, like as much as I love hanging out with you, I sometimes feel like I ramble on too much, um, which I'm doing right now. So hopefully you can keep up, play it back at half speed if you need to. <laughs> but um, okay, slicing is annoying check out this workaround. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this slice, delete all slices, and all I'm gonna do is either look at the waveform and see which transients I want to become slices or play it back and just count on my fingers. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Dun, dun, dun. We're at six. Eleven, perfect. So I'm just gonna do create a slice grid and check this out. I cannot select eleven. That's okay. Always go for the one above. So in this case, I'm gonna select twelve. That part doesn't matter. I usually select no. And now that we have created twelve slices across this entire sample, all I need to do is turn on slice mode and make sure that this is set into slices here. So normally it's in, it's in tracks mode, but just go to slices. Back in the AED, audio editor display, slices. Right, so I can just go here and then set my start point. And then I can find this part. And then same thing here way freaking faster. And you're kind of doing it by ear. You know, it's kind of fun this way. Sweet, so you can see I didn't use up that 12th slice. So I did end up with the 11 slices that I wanted, which are. Actually. Okay, so these are the same. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I end up doing this a lot in tracks as well. So that's the easy way to slice or to take multiple slices um, on the OctaTrack, at least that I find, and it's super fun. So let's just go ahead and um, so like this track, I'll clear. Oh no, don't do that. We'll clear this. I have a kick drum here, right? Why does that sound so weak?
Cool. So then I can just say, uh, Okay, that works. Dun, 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 dun. Oh man, I already forgot the buttons. Dun, 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 I think. So let's go ahead and quantize that. There's one off. I'll copy this, move that over to here. Copy that, move that to here. Honestly, we can just do this. Then you can either do weird stuff like let's say change the pitch altogether. Maybe do a little bit of reverb on there. Do a sand. Some pre delay. A little filter cutoff. We'll do this. Q just to the top. A little bit of distortion. the idea right just being able to create slices quickly and then play them just helps you get your idea out before it gets too frustrating to make music and uh, that's what happens with me a lot so um, yeah I hope you found this video helpful um, I just discovered this because I've been trying to use this a lot more as you can see I do not have an MPC out right now um, because I've been trying to use this I will say that I do hate these non-velocity sensitive buttons and I also hate hearing this. You know, just the like clackiness. I like it majority of the time, but I don't like it uh, when I'm just trying to like play in and find some samples and I miss having the big pads. Anyway, this isn't a MPC versus Octatrack video. I can, I can talk about that. I would love to. If that's something you want, let me know down below. But um, yeah, until next time, I'm gonna be jamming on this for a little bit because I actually kind of like this chop. I'm gonna try and create another pattern with this same little loop here because I'm liking this a lot. But uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, we got to sell some synth merch here, but you kicking it is more than enough. And uh, yeah, until next week, hope you're doing all right. You already know the drill. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.